It's cold, boys. We're gonna go back here. There's a 20 foot hole down here. If we don't hit a log on the way down there and fly off the damn boat. There's a 20 foot hole down here. They're letting out some water at my favorite dam. They have been for three days. There gotta be some fish stacked up down here. So we're gonna make our way down here and we're gonna go find out. Look at all that beautiful flathead cover. We're a little past that though. We ain't gonna catch no flatheads today. If we do, it'd be a miracle. We got one on there, boys. It's cold and the fish are biting. I just missed one. He was, he grabbed my line. He started running up the river with it and I couldn't catch up to him. By the time I caught up to him and I started filling him on the line, I tried to set the hook. He already got my bait and he was gone. I'll show you guys that rod being maybe. It works better when my camera lady's here. Unfortunately, she couldn't cut work like I could, so. Oh yeah. That right there, folks. And this current, that's fun. I'm just gonna tow him on in. Probably an eight pounder. Nope, maybe a five. There he is. He's cold. That's why he was fighting so good. He was hooked funny. He had a line wrapped around his fin. He was trying to put on a show for the camera. He said, I'll give him a rod bend. He was fun nonetheless. Look at this mud on this fish. You can tell he's been laid up in the mud. He just came out. This dam has been not running for a month, maybe a month and a half. Too long is all I know. He's been caught in a throw net or something before. He's missing part of his pectoral fin. Beautiful fish. I love those pink colors on a fish. We're gonna, we got some other guys coming down here on their boat. Anyhow, we're gonna get him back in the water and see if we can catch his grandma. We ain't gonna take a weight on him. He's two foot long, about 24 inches if you wanna know. And he gone. Let's do it again. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna try some bacon today just because we can. We'll put that on a different rod. We're gonna go ahead and get another head on this rod. good chunk of bait on there Let's see if we can get it again I usually hook them through their lips but this current isn't going that hard and I'm really trying to fling this down current so I'm gonna hook it like that so that way I can cast it and not worry about losing my bait we got one on I don't know how big it is but we got another one probably ain't very big considering this current is what it is He's rolling, I feel him. He's not very big at all. Well, he's maybe growing a little bit. Yeah, we'll throw him in the live well. We'll just hoist him on up here. Oh shit, he's whiskered. Up. We better be a little bit more careful with him. After we just towed him out of the depths with a uh, haul of this current. We move the boat, we got a little bit closer. Maybe they're stacking up on the dam. We'll catch them as they're moving up. Come on. Oh, 
Come on, Black. Oh. Oh, yeah. Got a hot job for you, bud. Gotta go cool the grease down for a little bit. All right. I got all these rods. Come on now. Easy. <laughs> I've had circle hooks do the same thing. Hook them right there in the bottom of their mouth like that. That's just a J hook though, you know. That's where I hook my catfish most of the time too. But anyways. This sucker's going to take a bath in some hot grease. That's perfect size catfish to eat. Anyways, I got my rods. I got two out in the main channel. Now I've got these two, just two smaller rods, casted back out to the mouth of this creek. That one's casted to the mouth out in the channel. Anyways, we're covering them if they come up in the mouth of this creek. And hopefully we can get about 10 of these little guys. About 10 this size and we'll eat these guys. Hopefully we can get one bigger for the camera, but. For eating purposes, we want some of these. Don't do that. Why? Because it'll run my battery dead. Those things eat fucking batteries up. You guys let me know if you guys want me to come to Walmart and get some of this stuff and see if we can actually catch catfish with it. I'd be interested in trying this. Maybe channel catfish, probably. Uh, I'm also interested about this. Uh, chicken livers that are uh, somehow they toughen them up where they stay together I wonder if that works any good here's also something I'm interested in the cut shad cut shad let's see what it's in cut shad disinfected by proprietary chemical process I'm sure catfish love chemicals hmm. I don't know about that Anyway, if you guys would like to see me try any of this nastiness that I'd never normally use, you guys let me know. Oh, I am interested in trying this though. That looks like it'd probably be good for carp. This vanilla bait probably would work really good for carp. <laughs> I might have to try that. Anyhow, I'll let you guys go. Dinner size catfish. Oh, well, you're going in the dinner pot for sure, buddy. I'm back here trying to get revenge. I had a bite from a flathead on this tree a week ago or so. And, uh, anyways. I'm back out here again because uh, I want to catch that flathead and this channel cat was under there so it makes me wonder if that flathead's even around anymore because uh, this dude would probably be on the dinner menu but it is a little chilly for flatheads to be eating big meals. You see what we got thrown out there, just little pieces of cut shad, cut them right in half, throw the tail in the water and gut pocket head and all goes right underneath that tree. And uh, anyway. These rods have been busy since I've been here. They've been getting tapped on, so uh, I don't know. Let's sit here for four or five hours and see if we can catch one, a big one. Maybe that catfish will come out to play some point. Oh, we on with another one. Oh, what's he fighting like? What's he fighting like? What's he fighting like? Come on now. Come on to the top. He's fighting like a big old drum and you know what he was still a lot of fun people i don't give a shit that sucker I, if it was a flathead i'd have threw it back and this drum i'm gonna throw it back too this sucker fought like a champ <coughs> he was down there mouthing it my rod tip was just barely going back and forth like a flathead and so uh i reeled down just like you would with a circle hook you can do that with j hooks too people I reeled down on that circle. And then 
Oh, got him. He didn't even swallow it. I got him right in the side of the mouth. And it's funny how these hooks work so damn good. They worked for 900 years before circle hooks ever came out. Anyways, let's see what he weighs just out of curiosity. I bet he's five, maybe four, heavy four. Heavy four or five. He thick. He'd probably be eight in the springtime. I don't know if catfish grippers work on these guys, but we're, they do. We don't try it. I got scales on these cubbies here. Or maybe I don't. I do. Hey, 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 don't spill my beer. I'll use it for cut bait. I'll tell you right now. Okay, I lied. I don't have scales on the boat today. That's crazy. I always have scales on the boat, but apparently I don't. Anyways, there's my camera stick. He got a fat belly. He got a fat belly. Uh, obviously, he's got a fat belly. He just ate a freaking crappie. Like an eight, six, eight inch crappie. And yes, that's legal here in Oklahoma. As long as you're not on Grand, Kerr, or... Anyway, we're gonna let him go. Get out there, boy. Go get big, you're fun. Or die. One or two, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. There you go. We on here with another one, the old uh, Quantum Light Fast Reel and the uh, $14 H2O Express Academy Rod putting in work. $14, folks sucker putting in work one piece I mean it's it ain't got no backbone at all but if you're casting 20 or 30 feet you don't need that much backbone reel down while you set the hook look at that another good drone look at that rod bend that sucker's digging he having fun He's having fun. I'm having fun. He's fighting for his life. He gets to live another day, though. Drum ain't on the menu for catfish tonight. Unless I start running low on shad, and then this guy might go back out there. He's using up my shad, but there's enough backwater creeks or little sloughs like that where there's some shad pushed up in there that I can get more shad. But. You never know, I might not want to come off anchor, so he might end up on a hook. Not you, buddy. Look at these little teeth. Look at this, Get, bring that camera in here. Look at those little teeth. Weird. Anyhow, let's put him back in the water. There he goes, bye big ugly. Peace. I got the bottom of the river.